You are about to learn how to trick a no-touch thermometer. Chances are you've seen one of these bad boys. Point it at your face and it records your temperature without having to touch you. Not that anyone really wanted to touch you before the pandemic, but this eliminates the need for oral or anal thermometers. Why haven't we been using these all along? I bought this stupid thing just so I could make this video, so please give this video a like. Let's check my temperature. 97.3. I'm going to show you one way to make that number go down and three ways to make that number go up. So to make my temperature go down, I'm just going to try and make my forehead cold. And in order to do that, ice cube. But before I rub this ice cube on my face, let's see what my temperature is now. 97.3. Normal. Now let's get some ice action going. Ooh, that's cool. Oh my god, that's so cold! Oh, that's kind of refreshing now. It's amazing how quick my forehead is just melting this ice cube. Let's see what my temperature is. Oh, oh my god, it won't even record it! It's so cold! Wow, let's try again. It's still too long! <laughs> what? A nice cube to the face will render this useless. Oh my gosh, let's try again. It's, oh my, okay. I'm gonna wait about 30 seconds and then try it again. It's been 30 seconds, let's see if this thing will read my forehead now. 91.7. <laughs> Ice Cube is definitely gonna trick this bad boy, okay? Okay, so now here's three ways to make the number go up. I'm sure that's what most of you are here for anyways. The first thing we're going to try here is called forehead rubbing. We're just going to rub the crap out of our forehead. It's really that simple. Let's take my temperature before I rub my forehead. 96.8. Now let's rub my forehead really hard. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, that burns. That burns. Oh. -ho. 97.3, okay. It went up like a whole percentage point. 97.7, so I guess you just gotta keep rubbing. The second way to make your temperature go up is with the perspiration method. Now if you go running or you're in a sauna, you're gonna sweat a lot, but I'm not in the mood to do that. So I'm just gonna spray myself in the face with hot water. Prove this water is hot. Look, look, look at this. See, the, the temperature won't even record it because it's too high, right? It'll record my face, but it won't record the water because it's hot. Let's spray some of this water on my face and see what that does to my temperature. Ninety six point nine. I think that brought my temperature down. Hold on one second. <laughs> All right, now ninety seven point eight. Gonna splash my face with this warm water. The problem is the water cools down so fast. Ninety seven point three. Okay, <laughs> this is embarrassing. This isn't really working the way I thought. Splashing hot water on your face probably won't work because it cools down so fast. This is warm water. See, it, it won't even record it. See, this is hot. Now I know that doesn't work. Unless the water is like super boiling hot, but you'll probably just hurt yourself. I'm actually gonna try one other thing here to make my temperature go up. This is a hot washcloth. It's a 109 degree washcloth, okay, according to my thermometer. Let's try this on my face. Ooh, look at that. Wait. The, what, wait, what? Did it just read my temperature through the washcloth? I mean, the washcloth by itself. It did. Okay, the washcloth is already cooled down. Ooh, you just saw it, it was 109 degrees a second ago, and now, now it's 96.8. This washcloth is already cold. Jeez. What am I? What am I? And I'm 97.1. I guess you're just gonna have to do it hella fast. Cause this thing lost its heat like in seconds. Your best bet is the face rubbing. 
I am bamboozled here. These things are pretty solid. There's no tricking these, you're screwed. I guess you're just gonna have to fake a fever the traditional way. 